In this video we'll take a close look on what's new in the Savage lineup for 2024. I'm especially interested to learn more about the new Klum rifles and the Ultraet Elite. You guys who are following me on my YouTube channel have noticed that the last hunting season I've used the Savage Carbon Predator from the 110 series. And uh, now I've reached the uh, Savage booth here on EVA, talking to Jens about what's new in the Savage range. Yeah, Savage really extended the range of premium rifles here. So this is the climb, means uh, like KL, KLYM, but meaning reaching the top. And it really is one of our top models. It is based on the ultralight. It has a proof research carbon fiber barrel, which is extremely accurate, but still gives a very good balance. And it saves about 900 grams of weight on the rifle. Uh, yeah. I need to ask you, is, yeah. is it the same barrel that I have on the Carbon Predator, yes. more or less? Yes, it's some, some signature feature of Savage, uh, the proof research barrel has become, uh. and people uh, all over really appreciated that, so we based a lot of more models out with that uh. barrel. I think that's the future um, in having a very accurate barrel that you can shoot longer, longer uh, times, you know, more rounds without heating up, but still have um, the weight reduction, people like lighter guns these days, so you're saving in comparison to a steel barrel of the same size, you're saving 900 grams or two pounds, you know, like like really, really a lot of significant weight. And especially if you combine it with a light stock, which is beautiful FPT carbon fiber thumb bolt stock here, you keep the balance. You know, normally if you keep a steel barrel in, it's very front heavy, especially if you use a silencer on top of it. But these rifles are center balanced, so really nice. And uh, for carrying, even with the silencer on top, it doesn't want to tilt, you know, and it said you don't sacrifice an accuracy or something. No. And I mean about the accuracy, I was really impressed. I, yeah. I think maybe it's the most accurate rifle I've ever owned because yeah. there only is like a hole growing in the middle when I'm shooting in 100 meters. Absolutely. I mean, this is this is also more than the best quality match barrel in the world. The barrel alone is well over a thousand euro retail and uh, that Savage is proud to, to use them in the rifles. And that makes a difference because it also accepts all type of bullets. You don't have to be picky, you know, do I shoot non-lead, do I shoot lead bullet, you know, what type. They pretty much eat everything and um, it, it gives a nice overall package, you know. As I said, it, it's not good enough just to make a light stock, you know, you want to keep the balance, you know. And the weight here on the 110 model is 2.6 kilos. It's one of the lightest guns in the world. Um, you still have all the features. You have the adjustable echo trigger. You have a detachable box magazine. It comes with a 20 mm rail. Under the, it comes with an omnivore muzzle brake, but underneath is a 5 8 by 24 threading, so you can use silencers as well. And uh, said the stock is length, length adjustable with spacers. It is height adjustable uh, by push button. And said overall, you don't miss anything. You know, a lot of rifle. What also is brand new is see that diamond pattern on the bolt. Um, and a Cerakote micro slick coating. So it has a very smooth action here on that one. Yeah. And I, I think it's a really nice, elegant rifle. Yeah. I noticed that uh, because from my Carbon Predator, I noticed there was little time to break it in. Exactly. But this feels smoother yeah. from the beginning. Savage, listen to the customers. You know, some customers, the aggressive uh, fluting um, feel to it. It's noisier. Uh, I mean, it also feels a little rougher. And that, that version here, the diamond pattern with a micro slick, that's much smoother, you know. It's quieter and smoother, so a big improvement. The even little accents like here, even the bolt knob is made of carbon to match the stock, you know, and gives a nice feeling. So it's a good thing. And this is one based of the 110 model, comes with all different modern calibers, 6.5 Creedmoor, a tr classic 308, 300WSM, 7 PRC, 6.5 PRC, and 300 Win Mag. Yeah. And I also noticed a little touch, uh, the oh, spot yeah. on a gunsmith adapter. Yeah, last but not least, of course. I mean, yeah. beside the regular swivel studs, we have a magnet switch adapter here, which you can use a lot of accessories like the Primos, you know, the Primo on spot on bipods, the tripods. So very versatile, quick um, and efficient way to put a, tr a tripod or a bipod on it. So, yes, again, it's a really nice, complete package. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, this is not the only new rifle you have this year. No. We found, find something else here also. Exactly. So, um, on top of the 110 model climb, we have it also in the Impulse. You know, that is our straight pull rifle in the same package, same setup. Uh, here we have the additional feature that we can put the bolt on the left-hand side for left-hand shooters. Um, and 
again, we have the quicker straight bolt system. You are more free to mount scopes. You know, there's no zero bolt lift, so very easy to, to use different scope setups. And that again, is, it's another top model. And then we have here, the that's more an elegant, you know, elegant classic looking uh, modern hunting rifle. And here we have a very technical one, but neither the less interesting. That's the Ultralight Elite. As the name implies, it is based on the Ultralight, our success model. So it has a proof research barrel, like the Ultralight, and the skeletonized stainless steel receiver with a, hot, with a PVD coating. But on top of that, we have the MDT HNT26, or called Oryx stock, which is a carbon fiber magnesium composite stock, and it has a foldable back butt stock. So you can, buy, on a push button, you can fold it flat on the side, so you have it very compact if you want to transport it in a backpack. You know, it's very easy. Also, 2.6 kilo, very lightweight. Uh, again, user adjustable trigger, height and length adjustable. That's an AR-15 grip. You can use different ones if you have, if you have preferences. It features the AICS magazine system, which means you have a detachable magazine, single roll, and you have like three round flush fitting ones. You have, that's a five round and a 10 round, even in the bigger calibers. It's the only system that allows, let's say, five round or 10 round magazines in the, ma the Magnums. Yeah. So very interesting, that one. Uh, in what price range will a rifle like this be? Uh, in, in Germany, the retail price is 3,900 euros. Um, street bike might be different, but the, that's a MSRP, the retail price. Um, and again, for the features, if you that stock alone is close to 2,000 euro retail, the, the barrel again well over 1,000 euro retail. So it's a really high-end factory package. I mean, for a factory rifle, it, there's almost nothing to leave, left to be desired. Um, really cool. Also here, um, all the new and improved calibers. You know, 6.5 Primo, 6.5 PRC, 300 WSM, but also 7 PRC, which gains a lot of interest at that show here, 300, w, uh, 300 Win Mac, so all the features you need. The difference also here is on the Ultralight Elite, we feature slightly shorter barrels. While these are featuring 20 and 22 inches, depending on the caliber, here we're featuring 18 and 20 inches. So if you really want a light compact package, um, even in 7PRC, the 20 inch barrel, really interesting, 18 inch barrel in the 6.5 Creedmoor and 308, so perfectly, you know, if you want a really super light uh, hunting rifle, that's perfect. Yeah, cool. Yeah. And uh, those ones are also new here, the yeah. Trail Hunter. I mean, said, not everyone is in the high end area, so we have a very good working horse here, that's a Trail Hunter. Yeah. So that one... You can take it out? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So this one um, features a uh, Hope. Overmold stock, though it's a rubber coated, very durable, quiet, nice to grip stock. So, a very robust. So, if you need a working horse, that's exactly what you like. And it features a Sarah coated barrel and action. And very smooth action. They're also an improvement from Savage. So, we. we uh, yeah, I tried it out before and I uh, feel that it was the, the much improved method. compared to the other ones I felt. No, I said we, we leave nothing untouched, you know, so if we can improve on something, we do that. Yeah. And uh, this one um, advantage here is we have regular barrel lengths, so mostly 22 inches, and it comes in a lot of different calibers, you know, starting from 223 on, all the classic, 30865, um, 270, 3006, up to a little exotic ones like 450 Bushmaster and 400 Legend, which is not yet introduced in Europe, but it might come, but the 450 Bushmaster already has some following. So you get it in a lot of different calibers. So really nice, nice package. Yeah. Uh, and in what price range will this end? Uh, I, to be honest, we have not settled an MSRP yet. So okay. we'll be the local distributor to find out what it will be. Yeah. It's, it's brand new. It should just become shortly in the shops. Yeah, yeah. And, and then last but not least, we have the Macbolt Scout here. So we actually coupled two successful models into one. So the Magpul Hunter, so we use the Magpul Hunter stock here, but we use it in an in an scout uh, setup. It means long rail, open sides, muzzle brake, and a very compact compact size. And this also comes in comes in three calibers: 6.5 Creedmoor, 308, and 450 Bushmaster, okay. AICS magazines. And it comes in the 10 version, like we have it here, in the black version, and left and right immediately from the beginning. Ah, cool. Uh, this rifle, uh, who is the target group uh, that uh, want a rifle like Again, this? If you want a light, light backpacking rifle that you can take everywhere, like a work, hard working horse, um, maybe not for long range hunting, but for all classic range and short range hunting, perfectly. You know, you have the, the backup sides, you can use the open sides if you want, uh, and you can put any type of mounts here. The long Picatinny rail, you can even use it with night vision quite effectively. You can remove the AR-15 front side and the muzzle brake if you want to use a silencer, which is popular in Europe. Um, 
so it's a very robust thing and the stock is really nice you know that's a really some really nice features it's adjustable the AICS magazine gives you a lot of options um, so I think a nice robust compact package thank you Jens for uh, making this uh, thorough uh, walkthrough to the new line from Savage thank you thank you, thank you.